With Republican clout rapidly fading in liberal California, a failure to have any general election candidates for the Senate and governor's races is a very real possibility and could prove disastrous for the GOP's future in the state and potentially the GOP control of Congress here in Washington. California's primary is Tuesday, and in the governor's race, the top two candidates advance regardless of party. The jungle primary, as it is called. Real clear politics average of the polls there, and those are currently the state's Democratic Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom and Republican businessman John Cox one and two. John Cox joining us now from San Diego. Nice to see you, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, Great to be with you, Leland. Thank you. How much about how much of this is about simply keeping Republicans relevant, much less trying to win the governor's office? Well, you know, people forget that in California we've had a succession of Republican governors. You know, you go back to Ronald Reagan in the 60s and Pete Wilson and George Duke Meiji and Arnold Schwarzenegger. So we, we've elected a lot of Republican uh, governors here. Uh, you know, Jerry Brown, as a matter of fact, is the only Democrat. Uh, Gray Davis, you know, was elected as a Democrat and then was recalled. So Mr. People... Gottes, I, I, understand the, I understand the history. Hillary Clinton won that state 62 uh, to 32. Okay, you're, 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 up, you're, you're fighting an uphill battle, fair to, fair to say? Yes, uh, except that what the Democrats have done in this state is that they've overreached. California has the highest tax burden in the country. We've got the highest poverty rate. Our roads, our schools are a mess. Water has been unavailable for farmers and for people. Our education system spends huge amounts and has poor results. Uh, I think the people of this state want a businessman in the governor's mansion, just like we have a businessman in the White House. Uh, I, I really think that that's going to be the defining issue here. Uh, Gavin Newsom is a Bay Area elitist. Uh, he you, is you, you've way got, left. You've, got, you've gotten the president's endorsement, uh, and as you point out, Gavin Newsom yeah. has promised single payer. Uh, says he at least wants single payer health care yes. uh, in, in yeah. your state. The question, though, is perhaps more fundamental. If if what you say is true, in that you are what the people of California want. Why is it that when I talk to Republican donors, including a big a top Republican donor in California, he says he feels like this is sort of an exercise in futility and it's more about trying to preserve Republican legacy and re preserving spots for Republicans and Republicans turnouts farther down ballot. This is, a, this is the media influence here. That's the only thing I can say to it, Leland. It's fake news. They think that Democrats are invincible. They're not. I'm here to tell you that the middle class in this state is almost non-existent. Working people can't afford a house. The gas tax is the biggest thing, Leland. This gas tax has resulted in people being pushed into the poverty ranks. Uh, it's gas is now over four dollars a gallon and people you know have had to move farther and farther away from their job because of the cost of housing and then they get hit with this gas tax instead of reforming Caltrans which is full of waste and corruption I really believe Leland the, the voters of this state I don't care if they're moderate Democrats or independents they want change they are sick of the corruption in Sacramento mm -hmm. They really want to have an affordable life. They don't want to work two jobs. I mean, you know, unemployment's pretty low here, but people are working two and sometimes well, three that, that, jobs that, in order to make that, a living. That, that brings up an important point. We saw the job numbers come out yesterday. We saw President Trump, Trump tout them. These are record low unemployment numbers. Yes. Yet, as you yes. point out, so many people are struggling to get by. How do Republicans yeah. answer that and uh, put that together? Lower the cost of living. I build apartments for a living, Leland, and I build them for eighty thousand dollars a unit in Indiana. It's five hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand here. And why, government? It's not the sunshine tax. It's not the cost of land. It's government regulation. It's litigation. It's approvals and delays. That's what ends up in the price of a house, and that's the largest single cost to any family. Mm -hmm. And it's driving people right. into poverty. They can't save money Mr. or provide for their families. They're, that's going to change. Well, Mr. Cox, uh, much like a businessman who's up against a hard deadline or a budget, we're up against a hard break. We appreciate <laughs> okay. it, sir. Uh, we'll Thank be right you. back here, and we'll have you on after the primary. Thank you very much, Leland. Good to be with you. You too, sir.